Hello and welcome to Kistos's Lair. Today we have a very exciting box. This is brand new from Tokyo Treat and it is called Yumi Twins. I, when I ordered this, I thought it had been running for a while. Turns out I was wrong. This is the premiere box. This is the very first box they've shipped for Yumi Twins. That by itself is exciting. Um, as you can see, like with the Japan Crate, the, or, or not Japan Crate, um, with the Tokyo Treat, a lot of care has been put into the presentation of the box, which is just awesome. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I cheated. I opened it, but that was because I was just so excited. So, the first thing that hit me when you open this box is just the amazing amount of detail. Look at that. Open, share, enjoy. That, I mean, Honestly, the coloring page is worth it by itself. That is beautiful, and there's detail, and I love it. But then, when you open it more, the surprises just keep coming. You've got the manga-style book that is pretty much normal for these type of boxes. And as you can see, grand opening box. So this is the very, very first box that has been sent out. Volume 1, uh, June 2016. And I actually haven't even looked inside yet. I just was so excited because I saw the Sailor Neptune plush and I was like, oh my god! So I'm a huge Sailor Moon fan, so getting something Sailor Moon in this box is just, it, it made my day. So, as you can see, here's the June lineup. What is Yumi Twins, Yumi Prize, Tokyo Girls Trends, Pop Culture in Tokyo, and Photo Contest. I'm curious about the Photo Contest. So, this is everything that came in the box. Um, I have not fully looked at everything yet. I do know that I am excited about the Outer Senshi just because they are the ones missing from my collection. So now, because I have Neptune, I only need to get three more. That completely made my night. So there's that. And then what is the Yumi Twins? Um, so given that this is a brand new premiere box... We, uh, you know, I'm going to go over it a little bit. Um, it looks like want to gain a deeper insight into the wonderful Kauai culture. So this box is all about Kauai and everything Kauai. And it's going to feature different things every month. And then the photo contest. Sailor Moon has got to be... One of our favorite characters of all times, these special Sailor Moon plushies bring back sweet memories of watching the popular manga series as a child. Which Sailor Moon plushie did you get? Here's your chance to flaunt your new exclusive Sailor Moon plushie. Take part in our first Yumi Twins photo contest by taking a selfie of yourself with our new exclusive Sailor Moon plush for your Yumi, from your Yumi Twins box. Tag it with... Hashtag Sailor Moon and hashtag Yumi Twins. Then share it on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram by the end of July. Oh my god. And the winner gets a licensed Hello Kitty plush. A trinket set along with three months subscription of Yumi Twins. Five runner-ups get Hello Kitty accessory and one month of Yumi Twins subscription. Completely going to do this. Oh my god. Oh, I'm in, I'm in love. Oh my god. Oh, this box is a keeper. Okay, so the Yumi Prize. Every month, all subscribers are automatically entered for a chance to win our Yumi Prize full of awesome kawaii treasures. So this month's Yumi Prize are a whole bunch of the animal donut charms, um, scenario, bonbon, ribbon, manicure, uh, shaped pen set, um, a love, lovely candy shaped soap, Little Star Twins Mini Dresser, um, Animal Pouches, oh, a cute little thermos, a bonbon ribbon purse, and Little Twin Star Folding Tote Bag. So this is cute for the first box. I'm, I'm sure that the first 
given that this is the first mega box, they are take you know they're still developing what their first you know huge prize box is going to be. But you know the the eye mask is very cute, and I really wouldn't mind that. And then the uh, the mini dresser is adorable too. And those things are actually really well put together. Um, Tokyo Girl Trends. This goes over and talks about the different trends that are going on. And then Tokyo Pop Culture. Wow, tie-dye is pretty big over there. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is... And of course, there's no... The, the boxes to come after this are going to start having the community pictures and things of that nature. This one just doesn't have it yet because, again... Grand opening box, premiere issue. You have no idea how excited I am about that. So that's just like my little buzz of awesomeness for the day. So that made me super happy. Let's go ahead and look at this box now. So what, what beautiful, wonderful treats are in our Yumi twin box? So very first exclusive Sailor Neptune. Neptune, Neptune, Neptune. Oh, I've, I've got to take this out. I've got to take this out. This is just like... Seriously, I squealed when I saw the Neptune. Ooh. Sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> and my camera setup while I'm doing this... I'll talk to you guys for a second... My camera setup is actually about to change as well. Um, I've got a better camera, so I'm not going to be stuck on my uh, using my phone much longer. Wow, they really, can I tell you, they really, really packaged this well. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, the excitement mounts. Oh, I cannot express how excited I am. Oh, what did they do? Oh, I see what they did. Whoops, sorry. Okay, so I'm having a little trouble getting her out. I apologize. Um, oh, and check that out. One of the best signs possible. It is official Sailor Moon merchandise. That right there. Anytime you get... Um, any type of uh, toy, T-O-I, to toy, um, merchandise, you want this sticker. This sticker shows that it is official merchandise. That is a huge deal. So, Sailor Neptune 20th anniversary. And she's not going to come out of her wrapper just yet. So, and then... That's a little, that would normally be like a little profile about her. It's in Japanese, so I can't read it. But still, the quality of her. Look at her. her the material she's made out of is very silken. And it's just, it's, oh, and she's so fluffy. Oh, oh my God, I'm in love. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. This is a very high quality plushie. This is awesome. This by itself makes this box worth it because these plushies can go anywhere from 16 to $25. Given that the box was only 30 bucks, this plush by itself makes this entire purchase worth it. I, I cannot express how much joy I have over the fact that this was in the box. And I'm going to have fun doing the photo contest with her. So, she has friends because I have all the inner senshi. Okay, so, back to the box, shall we go? Next, we have a very, very, very cute, um, it feels like it's a wash rag, but in reality, it's a handkerchief. Um, in Japan, it's a very common thing for schoolgirls to carry a handkerchief, uh, one that's embroidered, usually with their initials or something like this. So this is a very common item uh, for schoolgirls to have. Does it say? Uh, it's all in Japan. 
or Japanese. But yeah, this is this would be like a handkerchief type thing that they would keep on them um, because they're supposed to be ladies and ladies don't sneeze in their hands and things of that nature. So this is actually really pretty and I'm it's going to go in my display set because I really like it. What do we have next? We have... I swear to God, this looks like pretty cute. I'm 100% so, so straight out pretty cure. It looks like pretty cure. Okay, so what? It's really looks like pretty cure. So, let's see what the. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see what the guide says about it. To the guide we go. Up, up and away. Whoops. Okay. So, everyone needs a cute case to put all your special trinkets in. Um, kawaii and kawaii collectibles. Light and compact. Let Take it with you everywhere you go. So that is a Prism Paradise heart case. And we got the, I think it's the pink, yeah. We got the pink one. So that's really cute. And it looks like, oh, it looks like it comes with star candies too. Cool. Okay, so what's in the box? Okay, so the next item is going to be this little dude. Can this little guy has taken Japan by storm. He is adorable. He is wonderful. He's an egg. He's a lazy egg. He doesn't want to be eaten, but he doesn't want to do anything to stop himself from being eaten as well. So it's you know, this is very cute. Um, let's see. All the different things you can do with the lazy egg. I wonder which one I got. Which one did I get? Okay. Because it's a lazy egg blind box. <laughs> I got a flying saucer. I got a flying... Well, I guess he'd be an over easy... Lazy egg. That that is so adorable. Oh, I love it. That is awesome. Okay, so there's that. And you know what guys? I think if I can get this, yeah, they made it easy to open. So let's go ahead and I'm opening this right now. Alright, so this is your compact. And it's actually very cute. It's got a nice little mirror in it. You know, it's just it's just a it's just a kitty mirror. It's not, you know, supposed to be high level. And it looks like I am fairly positive that these are candies that go in it. They sound like candies, don't they? So, let's figure this out. Okay. Bear with me just a second. Bam. Alright guys, check it out. Candies! I wonder what they taste like. Um, they're just little fruit candies that kind of tastes like, um, you know the quarter machines that have the candies that, uh, come out shaped like different fruit? It tastes like that. They're actually, it's actually pretty good. Maybe a little bit better. So let's go ahead and put the candies.
in here. Like they are supposed to be. Whoop. Runaway candies. I'll just eat those two. All right, so then with it set up, now that it's set up, you just pop it open, and now you have a candy dispenser. That is way cool. I'm telling you what, if I was a 10 year old, this would be the most amazing thing ever. Honestly, I more than likely would have pretended this was a um, Sailor Moon compact and tried to transform with it when I was that age. So this is awesome. Okay. I am really loving this box so far. I'm like not even playing. I love, love, love this box. So these are... Oh, how cute. These are stationary. This is little stationaries. So that's that's really adorable. That's super super cute. Um let's see what we have next. This is such an exciting bag. Oh, and there we go. Another lazy egg corn. This one's a coin purse. And it goes with the... Where'd the lazy egg box go? So that blind lazy egg box that I had. Here you go. There he is. Let me let me get his name. So this is... Corn, corn purses are huge in Japan uh, because of the train system. Everybody, even guys, have coin purses to carry the change around in because they, they have a lot of vending machines and, and you know, the trains and things of that nature. So this is this is um, a fairly common thing. Let me see if I can... How tall are you? Get away. My cat's trying to eat my Sailor Neptune doll. Um, let me see if I can pull his name because he has an actual name. So give me just a second. Um, Gautama. His name's Gautama. And then the, it's an Anywhere mascot, uh, Gautama mascot. We introduce you to our favorite lazy egg. Add cuteness to your keys or bag with this irresistible Gautama uh, charm. Take him everywhere. And I got the little flying saucer dude, which was awesome. Um, Alright, so and what are you? You you almost look like a DIY kit. What are you? It's cute. I think it's um a DIY kit. But not your not your typical DIY kit. In that aspect. Because it's not food. I think it's like a collage type setup. Okay, so there's the panda memo. Okay, there we go. That's what it is right there. It's the Riemann Fun Fantasy Dorama sticker. Fennessy is a popular character uh, of Fubushi City. Use these kawaii Fennessy stickers from Remint to decorate the background that is included in the pack or add a touch of fun to your cards and notebooks. So, yeah, these are, um, these are basically puffy stickers. It, pretty much. They're, they're puffy stickers. So that, that's really cute. And then... Last, but certainly not least, we have a ring. It's a charm ring. I'm not going to lie, I kind of hope I get the crescent moon, because that's just kind of my thing. 
I love me crescent moons. All right, so what type of ring? Oops. And it is the jewel with the bow and the flower. Ah, sad face, but still awesomeness. Um, matter of fact, I have a friend's daughter whose birthday's coming up, and I think she would absolutely love that ring. So I'm probably going to give that to her just because it's her party's princess theme, so it would be perfect. Now, um, I don't normally do this, but there's so much detail in this box. I cannot even express the level of detail in this box. It's all the way around it. By far, I would have to say this is probably one of the most detailed boxes that I have gotten. So, out of everything, I have to say that the Tokyo Treat line, the, the Yumi Twins and the Tokyo Treat boxes, is a good product. You do pay a little bit more, but you get more than your money's worth back. This is probably the first box that I've gotten where I feel like I 100% truly got my money's worth in the box, other than the um, Tokyo Treat box. I was very happy with that box, too. Uh, I got a Kawaii box yesterday that I was just very disappointed with. So if you're looking to try a Kawaii box, Yumi Twins gives you your money's worth. Um, now this is the first box, so we're just going to have to see what next month is like. But so far this month, their very first box, they have not disappointed um, please, I encourage you to go and check out yumitwins.com, um, or you can go through tokyotreat.com. They have, uh, three different size boxes. They have the premium, they have the small, or the mini, the small, and the premium, as usual. So, definitely give these guys a chance, because, I, all in all, I, I have to say that... I, if I had to choose between Japan Crate and Doki Doki Crate or Tokyo Treat and Yumi Twins, Yumi Twins would and Tokyo Treat would win right now because they, they really give you a better product and a more diverse product. So we're just going to have to see how next month's box is. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. I am so happy I got to do a premiere box with you guys and unbox it for you. Uh, other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful time and uh, I'll see you next video.